Hello and welcome to the video. This is a quick look at this soldering iron from Squire. This is the SI012. Now unfortunately soldering is a core part of the modern open hobby. There have been flight controllers that came with pins installed that I used to love. Things like the Furious FPV F35 but those have sadly passed into history. It does mean that if you want to build your own model with something like iNav in it or a beta flight flight controller, then there's going to be some soldering involved either for pins so that you can plug servos in or just by connecting different wires together. Now, I'm an old school electronics engineer here, so I love my Weller soldering stations. But I've been interested in getting something that's been a little bit more portable. And that means that if at the field, we're flying and we have a crash and a wire is separated or a contact is pulled off, then it's easy to repair stuff. Now back in the day I got in a couple of things like the TS-80 and similars, but I wanted something that could ideally run off a LiPo battery. Most of those things were running off a USB port. Now I've been using this Squire MSS-12 mini soldering station that I got in a few months ago and I really like it. It runs off a LiPo, and because it has kind of the mini soldering station pieces, uh, it kind of feels to me a little bit like the Weller stuff that I already use. And it's been invaluable having it so that when we do have accidents at the field, it's very quick and easy to get the solder reflowed and get things stuck back together. But I've been looking for uh, iron that really gives me the ability to both have the kind of very simple all-in-one design but also runs off an XT60 and this is why I've got this one in to have a look at. So while I unbox it let me go through some of the specs. Now this soldering iron is a little bit different from some of the other ones that I've looked at in that it supports both the long and short soldering iron tips. So there's this TS style tip here and also the T12 style of tip in the package as well. There is the XT60 adapter and this will run from 12 to 25 volts so that's a 3S to 6S battery and it also supports PD 3.0 so you could run it off a high power USB connection as well. There is an 0.91 inch OLED display, uh, brightness is adjustable and by default it's set up to connect to the T12 style longer soldering pieces. You also get some stickers, a manual, you get some lead free solder. Although to be honest I use lead solder here, it just works an awful lot better and you get a couple of little screws and a little package here. Now this is one of the cool things that it can do. By installing these it allows you to use the shorter TS style soldering tips. Maximum temperature on this is 450 degrees C or 842 degrees Fahrenheit and it supports displays in both centigrade and Fahrenheit, has low voltage protection, high temp and low voltage alarms, uh, you can firmware upgrade it too and of course it comes in a nice bag that you can keep everything in. In terms of the iron itself and how you use it, it works very well. Heat up is nice and quick. This is heating up on a 4S and the temperature control is good. However, the process to change between the T12 long style tips and the TS short style tips require a little bit of work. Using the tool supplied in the little case, you need to remove the single screw and open up the iron. There's a couple of little pieces on the side, so you need to run your fingernail to undo both sides of the clear clamshell. And then you need to screw in the extra contacts that came in that little bag that we've just had a look at. Do make sure that the screws are nice and tight. This is going to have to conduct a reasonable amount of current and you don't want a dodgy contact. So nip those up and then you can close everything up and do the single screw up again. And then it has been converted for the shorter TS tips. Sadly, unfortunately, to go back to using the long style tips, you do have to remove those extra contacts that we've just popped in. So once you've put those extra contacts in for the TS style tips, then that is kind of what you're limited to until you crack it open. It isn't a long thing to put those extra contacts in and out, but it's not something I want to be doing on a daily basis. 
In summary, the iron itself is easy to use and the controls are simple once you get to grips with them. There's only two buttons on it. The case to keep everything inside and keep it all nice and safe is a nice idea. It seems to be the same case that I got with my original Squire mini soldering station. And I really like the clear case. I know for some it'll look a bit weird, but having the clear case makes it really simple to see which connectors you have installed, which tip type, and also to see if anything is smoking or unhappy inside. Warm-up speeds are good, but I wouldn't call them super quick, but more than enough for when you are at the bench for occasional soldering, definitely useful for soldering at the field. But I really like the idea that you get the two tips in the pack that comes with the iron for both the fine soldering jobs and the bigger soldering jobs, things like power connectors as well. Only a couple of things to be aware of with this. First of all is accessing and navigating the menu can take a little bit of getting used to. To come out of a menu option, you just have to stop pressing the buttons and eventually it times out and comes up one level of the menu. And I'm disappointed that once you've installed those contacts for the TS, you have to remove them again for the T12 tips. It's a shame there isn't some kind of logic in here that will detect that for the longer tips are installed, those new TS contacts are essentially shorted out and then not use them. So in summary, another very nice portable soldering iron option that can work on a variety of power options and support multiple tip types as well. So if you're in the market for something that's nice and portable and you don't want the mini soldering station style that I have been using here, this is a really cute one that you can just use at the field and plug it into any of the lipos that you've got kicking about. Thank you for spending your time today watching that video. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you're trying to learn about a subject, then check out the playlist. All of my videos are organized into easy to follow playlists that if you're trying to learn a topic, will take you from the basics right the way through to some pretty advanced stuff.